Hello, adventurers! Welcome to Kyrgyzstan, a country surrounded by beautiful mountains that look like Switzerland and full of the friendliest people with the most unique blend of cultures. Today, I'll bring you on an adventure to experience the landscape, the people, and the culture of Kyrgyzstan. And before we end this video, I will share a few things I wish I had known before coming here. Let's go! The extent of the mountains surrounding this country is even more obvious from the skies. Together with the lush green idyllic landscape, Kyrgyzstan can easily pass off as the Switzerland of Central Asia. Maybe a bit of Nevada as well. To fully experience the mountains and the Kyrgyz way of life, we're gonna ride up the mountains and spend the night in a yurt camp by Songko Lake. The Kyrgyz people were traditionally Turkic mountain nomads, with many still practicing their lifestyle. In summer, they'll bring their herds up to the mountain meadows to graze and set up their yurt camps to stay in. These iconic yurts act as portable homes. Once the colder weather is back, they pack up and move on. Fun fact, the roof center or tunduk of the yurt is the main symbol on the Kyrgyz flag. And finally, we reached our yurt camp where we saw so many horses. Kyrgyz people are horse people. Their children learn how to ride before they learn how to drive. <laughs> now, the locals are getting ready to play their favorite horse game, the cock bottle. In this game, two opposing teams compete to grab a goat and land it in the opponent's zone. Something like rugby, but you're on horses and you're grabbing a goat. In modern times, they use a dummy goat that weighs around 20 kilograms. Lifting up 20 kg is already a challenge on its own. These men are grabbing it from horseback and wrestling each other for it. Kokboru was originally a game to train shepherds to rescue their flock from wolf attacks. Today, it's their national sports game. So, blue team or red team? Let's see how this turns out. Where is it? Victory goes to the blue team. After a cozy night at the yard, the next morning, we head down from the mountains to witness another unique tradition of the Kyrgyz people, hunting with an eagle. This is unlike common falconry, which tames smaller birds like hawks and falcons. These eagle hunters tame the top tier bird, the golden eagle. At the hunter's command, his eagle will swoop in to strike his target, just like a high precision guided missile. Hunter and his eagle trains very hard for years for this synergy. And now, our eagle hunter is gonna show us real eagle hunting. He releases his eagle to fly. Once he sights his prey, he gives the signal. Whoosh. The well-trained eagle won't bite into the prey until his trainer says so. Traditionally, the hunter will give the eagle a share of the hunt while he brings back the excess meat and fur to the village. So our rabbit gets to live for another day. Sadly, the eagle hunting tradition is slowly disappearing in Kyrgyzstan. 
Legal training is difficult, expensive, and it takes a long time. This practice was only passed down from father to son and it starts at a very young age. As promised, here are the things I wish I had known before coming here. Number one, in the rural areas, the roads are not as developed. Considering that you will spend a lot of time on the road, you might want to prepare well for this. If you can, get a vehicle with great suspension. It will help you a lot. Also, if you're easily motion sick, bring some medications. Number two, clean water is in shortage. Especially in the yard camps, there may be limited water for washing. This may result in limited hygiene standards. So bring your own sanitizers and bring some charcoal pills in case germs do get to you. Number three, most of the rural areas do not have proper toilet. Most toilets you'll find here are outhouses with holes dug in the ground. For men, this might not be a big problem. So just mentally prepare yourself and perhaps avoid wearing clothes that are difficult to handle in an outhouse. Or you can just wear brown pants. Kyrgyzstan is a very beautiful country. It has such a unique concoction of amazing landscape and cultures. I hope that they continue to prosper and develop, welcome and amaze more tourists that come to visit. I hope that you've enjoyed our adventure. If you're coming here yourself, I wish you a great and happy trip. Please like this video if you have found it enjoyable and helpful, and I will see you in the next adventure.